But first tonight, an alleged argument ends in a deadly stabbing. Tonight, we're hearing from the family of 26 year old Tanasia Green, who Peoria police say was murdered on Peoria's South End last night. Our Durante Matthews shows us how Green's loved ones say more than anything that they want her back. But at the very least, do they want the person responsible behind bars? Uh, it's hard. The grieving tears of a sister. Destiny Green says she's trying to make sense of a senseless act, the murder of her big sister, 26-year-old Tanasia Green. Nobody was expecting this to happen. The Peoria County Coroner says Tanasia was stabbed in the chest Thursday night near Southwestern Avenue. Green, along with their father, Fred Forrest, now heartbroken and confused, are remembering the kind of person, daughter, sister, and mother they say Tanasia was. With the family, she was the type of person when she around our family, she also keep the family together because she was always happy to be around. A happy person and a feisty truth teller who's now leaving behind two young children. Green says she doesn't understand the why and is still processing the how. My sister was stabbed by a woman she had got into an argument with. And somehow the lady got away. Peoria police identified this woman, 53 year old Kathy Logan, as a suspect in the deadly stabbing. Logan, still on the loose, was last seen wearing a black bonnet, black jogging pants, and a pink, white, and black jacket. Forrest, who works for Elite Community Outreach, says he believes unaddressed childhood trauma bleeding into adult years leads to these outcomes. If the mental health issues don't be addressed in this here neighborhood, we're going to continue getting this because you just take an incident where a little argument turned into a stabbing that turned into a death. Now, Forrest, coming off the recent loss of his brother and Green, who is still processing the 2022 death of her daughter, Emery, at the alleged hands of her father, say they're asking for prayers and an arrest. In Peoria, Durante Matthews, WNBD News.